That's how you build circuits with forward biasing or reverse biasing. Circuit is reverse biased, the blue LED turn on. And if I change the terminal of my power supply and I forward bias the circuit, the red LED turns on. What's up guys, welcome back to Electroaming. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the forward reverse biasing LED. These are the components which you need to build this project. I'm going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor to limit the current across my LEDs and I'm going to power the circuit with 5 volts. So let's go ahead and let's connect the resistor to the positive rail of the breadboard and for our first try I'm going to use my red LED. So as you can see the shorter the longer lead is anode positive pole and the shorter lead is cathode negative pole so I'm gonna connect the anode to the resistor and my cathode I'm gonna connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard via my switch I hope the switch is yes it's connected perfect so right now the red LED is forward bias forward biasing refers to applying a voltage across the diode in such a way that the positive terminal of the voltage positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the diodes anode so as you can see here is my anode and I connected it to the positive rail of the breadboard where this one kilo ohm resistor Right now my red LED is forward biased. Now let's go ahead and let's connect our blue LED in reverse bias. It means that the cathode will be connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. So cathode goes to the resistor and the anode will be connected to the ground. Okay, so before I connect the power supply, red LED is forward bias the anode is connected to the positive ray so that the current can flow through the circuit but on the other hand the blue LED is reverse bias the cathode is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard which prevents current to flow across it now let's go ahead and let's connect our 5 volts to the circuit and since I'm forward biasing the circuit the positive terminal of the battery goes to the positive rail the red LED must turn on let's see so if I press the, press the switch the red LED must turn on now let's go ahead and let's turn on the blue LED in order to turn on the blue LED we have to reverse bias our battery terminals since the blue LED is reverse bias so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch the poles of my power supply negative to positive terminal and positive to negative terminal of the breadboard now the circuit is reverse bias and if I press the switch the blue LED must turn on let's see These normal LEDs, like the emitting diodes, will be usually forward biased so that the current can flow through the positive terminal of the breadboard to the anode and cathode will be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. But there are also some LEDs, such as infrared LEDs or IR LEDs, which they work in reverse bias. It means that you have to connect the anode to the cathode and the cathode to the positive rail of the breadboard. I have also done a project with IR LEDs. I think it was simple fire alarm circuit. I will uh, upload it uh, at the end of the video. You can go and check it. It's a good project. I've also built over 30 other breadboard projects in my YouTube channel. You can go through my channel and watch those videos. Please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. 
and I hope you have a great day. Thanks and good luck.